And the chairman of the Police Service Commission, Solomon Arashe, says he dreams of a Nigerian police that is technology-driven and knowledge-based. And this, Arashe said, was the only way to confront the challenges in the country. He said training of Nigerian police officers in cyber security, intelligence gathering, psychology, law, and other fields that would help improve their policing duties. Two great instruments you talk about when you're talking about internal security management. One is visibility. The other one is dominance of the security space. But no, no matter the manpower you put together in this country, without you complementing it, with technology, it cannot work. Technology has to complement the manpower shortages that we have. So as a country, it is time we start uh, thinking about, you know, covering our, our space, you know, with technology. Okay, well, for me in particular, and, and I think I speak for millions of Nigerians and those who love this country, uh, the seemingly interminable persistence of insecurity it's an indictment on all of us, but most importantly, it's a wake-up call for the government. Look, nothing is possible in this country. You cannot stop the hemorrhage of young people. Uh, you cannot build a future. Our democracy remains endangered and impaired unless and until we can very urgently and decisively place a timeline for ending this cruelty, this unacceptable, this intolerable hemorrhaging of human lives, and the collective humiliation of all of us. So there, there, there are just no two ways about it. We have no, our democracy and our country will have no future unless we can push back these forces of darkness. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.